Welcome to the introductory hook practice lesson. Before we begin, I want to remind you that the first one or two sentences of an introduction can be considered a hook when they grab immediately the reader's attention. Our mini lesson on this topic highlighted three common strategies for establishing value in your topic and hooking your reader. Enticing the reader with provocative information about the topic, surprising the reader with a startling fact, statistic, or anecdote, and finally, emphasizing for the reader a problematic assumption or misunderstanding about the topic. Now, let's read a sample introduction. The target audience is other instructors of English. Did you read the paragraph? If not, pause the video now. Read the paragraph carefully, then restart the video and try to determine what type of hook the author uses. What type of introductory hook did this author use? Please pause the video now and think about the three common strategies listed on this slide. When you have an answer in mind, restart the video. You can pause your video now. Hewitt uses a startling fact. Many English instructors, her target audience, simply assign essays for their students to write, and few take the time to participate in the writing processes that they assign to their classes. Because of these commonalities among instructors, many who read Hewitt's introduction would be very surprised by the fact that she not only brainstorms and writes an essay for her students, she also does so with a topic of the student's choosing. Her hook might also be considered an anecdote because it is an account of a personal experience. When designing a hook, be sure to include a transition that helps ease your reader away from the hook and into the remaining introductory content. This will keep your content from feeling abrupt or disjointed. Then, Remember that few readers want to spend time on insignificant or commonly known introductory material. They want to be hooked and drawn in by content that is compelling, provocative, and original. Thank you for completing the introductory hook practice lesson. Now you're ready to move on to thesis statements. 